Yeah. Uh, do you have advice that you would give to a young person today that uh, would like to help you maybe on the planetary science side, discover exoplanets, or maybe bigger picture, just succeed in life? I do have some advice just to succeed. It's tough advice in a way, but it is to find something that you love doing that you're also very good at. You know, in some ways, the stars have to align because you've got to find that thing you're good at or the range of things. And it actually has to overlap with something that actually you love doing every day. So it's not a tedious job. That's the best way to succeed. What were the signals that in your own life were there to make you realize you're good at something? That you're, you're like, what were you good at that made you uh, pursue a PhD and that made you pursue the search? <laughs> uh, I mean, that was the one sentence version. In my case, it was a long slog and there were a lot of things I wasn't good at initially. But so initially, you know, I was good at high school math. I was good at high school science. I loved astronomy. And I realized those could all fit together. Like the day I realized you could be an astronomer for a job, it has to be one of my top days of my life. <laughs> I didn't know that you could be that for a job. Yeah, and I was good at all those things. Yeah. And although my dad wanted me to do something more practical where he could be guaranteed I could support myself, was another option. But initially, I wasn't that good at physics. It was a slog to just get through school and grad school is a very, very long time. But ultimately, when faced with a choice and I had the luxury of choosing, knowing that I was good at something and also loved it, it really carried me through.